Hi, this is, uh, oh, I finally got this working. So this is Nicola from The Accessory Barn. This is my first time going live on my, fa on my Facebook page. Um, it's just been an absolute nightmare trying to get this sorted out. Um, so anyway, I think I just done a live for about 10 minutes to nobody. Um, so but that's fine. So anyway, the reason for this, um, suddenly out of all these years of never speaking to anybody other than via email, was mainly because I was at a, a marketing retreat this past weekend with a group that I'm a part of. Um, and one of the things I said, oh, you know, like I'd really like to do video and go live, but to be honest, it scared the living daylights out of me going live, even though I'll go and do karaoke. Um, and, you know, I don't even worry about that, but I am, you know, a really good singer. If my family is online, they would agree with that. So <clears throat> that's my reason for, um, you know, doing karaoke. So anyway, one of the things they said, um, they gave us a little gift at this marketing retreat. And this is what the, one of the gifts that I got, which is a cup, which says, oops, done is better than perfect. Well. I have done it. It might not be perfect, but it is actually done. So anyway, so I just thought um, I'd come on because I done on the website last month, and which I'm going to continue doing this month and every month. Um, I done a giveaway for a sign up. Um, so anyway, I picked a lady that won the giveaway for a free pair of sandals. Um, her name is Diana Crocker. If you should happen to be on this live, but I doubt that you are, um, you did win a free pair of sandals in January from me, but I will also email you as well. Um, so anyway, so as you can hear, um, I think I've got a few people online, probably my family, but that's okay, they know me. Um, and it's always good to have them to support you. So anyway, I am English, um, but I have lived in the US for the last 20 odd years. Um, so I've just never picked up the, uh, the American accent because I always watch British TV. So I thought, um, after I got the giveaway sorted out, I just one question I'm always asked, um, well, I'm asked a few questions, but the one that I'm going to talk about today is, um, do I sell sandals for wider widths, um, you know, for the people that have got broad feet? Well, there's not an official sandal that's for, like, that's sold as a wide selling, a wide foot sandal. But when you buy these kind of sandals, these ones come up slightly narrower across this edge here. Um, so... When, when people ask me, I kind of try and direct them to this style of sandal, which has got the cross band here, because across this part just comes up fractionally wider. It kind of scoops out more than what this particular one does. You know, this is more of a, it just kind of slims down a little bit. So um, if you are looking for a wider whip sandal, and I will try and get around to actually separating these out on the website um, to make it easier, but... I just need a day to be able to, you know, fix that little problem. But those are a wider width sandal. And also, when I am measuring the sandals, I have got measurements on the sandals, and it is really tricky. Um, I've tried to do, like, a template that you guys can, um, you know, download if you needed to. Yeah. I just, you know, with everyone's print, I just can't get it to work properly. So I've been trialing it for about a month now. And, you know, I've had a few um, times of throwing it out the window, to be honest, because it doesn't work and it don't print properly. So, um, so when I do measure the sandals, just so you know, I'm measuring like from the longest point. So from here to here. And I always measure, the tape measure always goes this side of the toe post. So kind of like, in between your your big toe and your next toe so just so you know that's why i am trying to do it and i'm actually gonna you know go back for and make sure that i've got them as best i can um so that's that with the two styles the other thing i want to show you i've actually got some new packaging um i usually use um usps's packaging but i got i bought some stuff online myself and it come in some real uh, cool colored packaging i thought oh that would be quite nice so i've just changed my packaging so a lot of the a lot of the sandals will be going in this kind of packaging it'll be bright pink so it does stand out amongst the uh you know your bills that you pay and get from the uh from the post office so that's the kind of packaging for most part everyone will be receiving their um styles uh, their sandals in those 
Um, so now, uh, so back to this uh, business retreat that I went on this weekend. Um, this, it was pretty cool. There was like about 25 of us, 20, 25 of us, all women, all got, um, you know, very successful businesses. Um, so they, they had like a, they had the, the um, what do you call them? The makers, you know, the ones that do the quilting, um, you know, make patterns and, you know, sell ribbons and, you know, they sell the fabric. And so anyway, that they, they was really cool, those, you know, they, they were showing us, you know, the stuff that they kind of make, their fabrics, you know, very, one lady's got very um, super bright, you know, fabrics, fun fabrics. Um, and then there was obviously the um, jewellery ladies as well, you know, they're making, they're actually making the jewellery themselves. They don't buy it in from someone else. they you know, they're either making it or <clears throat> um, their family members are making it and they're selling it on, um, which that was really, really nice. And um, what else was there? Uh, there was a lady with a skincare range. Um, and there was uh, actually one of my friends there, she sells um, kind of like walkers, you know, she's an occupational therapist. So uh, she's in that field of um, expertise. So she sells like walkers and canes and other cool products, but they're with the emphasis on being cool rather than, you know, looking like, oh, I've got a walker, you know, they're, they're like quite fun walkers for, you know, so that was good. Um, yeah, so it was a really interesting weekend. It was fun. But one of the things, you know, everyone had to kind of say what their one thing was that they needed to do or needed to improve on or, you know, whatever it was. So I, I picked that, you know, I need to start going live because if I didn't say it out loud, it was never, ever going to work. And I was never, ever going to do this uh, video. So I said to him, you know, I'm going to go live on here. I'm going to try and do some TikTok videos um, and put some reels out on, I don't know, is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? I don't know. I don't even know where the reels go. Like, I'm absolutely useless. I actually, um, I said to my one of my, my children yesterday, my son, I said to him, I'm going to start doing some TikTok videos and maybe doing some reels. Um, would you mind liking them for me? when when i post them and the response i got was only if they're good so i don't know whether you know i'm going to get a like off of them i said could you not just support your mother and he said well i'll try mum but you know i'm not i'm really not too sure so if he actually likes them of his own accord like then i'm going to be like oh wow <laughs> you know i've done really well but you know, if he doesn't like them, clearly I need to, you know, get better. But I think he's more worried about liking them and maybe his friends can see that he's liked, you know, his mum's post because that clearly would not be sociable, acceptable in his world. But, um, yeah, so that was that. Um, so anyone that's ordered in the last day or so, all your orders are going out this morning. I'm just going to run out in a minute and get them sorted out because I am in between fulfilments. So they will be going to a new fulfilment house in the next month. Um, and again, Diana Crocker, if you should be on this uh, live, please contact me because you have won uh, a pair of sandals and I do want to get those out the door to you. Um, and I think that's about it, really. Um, so although it was... It was definitely done and it definitely was not perfect, that is for sure. But it was a lot of fun and actually I don't know why Quite, I was quite so worried about chatting on it. I just need to find some more things to talk about, which, you know, for my family members that are watching right now, probably think, oh my God, like, like she needs anything more to talk about because I don't stop talking. But, you know, it was, this was fun. So, um... Yeah, so, oh, that was the other thing, because I was actually speaking to myself for about 20 minutes previously when I realised I hadn't actually got it done right. So I was, you know, it was like almost like a practice run. The other thing is I always used to do um, a little contest called Where in the World, which was Where in the World Was Your Sandals? So people would send, their, send me photos of that, their sandals at landmarks, you know, maybe whether it was Australia or Europe or anywhere in the US. Um, you know, wherever the sandals were, they'd put them up against a, a landmark or if they was on a beach holiday up against a palm tree or, you know, wherever it was. I'm going to reintroduce that because that was always a lot of fun. So if you do own a pair of Grand Coast sandals, please, if you could just snap a picture, either of you wearing them with a close up 
of the sandal, if you can put it up against you know, something when you're out in the street, if you can put it on, I don't know if people even read proper newspapers, I know I only read the newspaper on my phone now, but if you do read, actually I know my mum reads a newspaper, um, if you do read it the old fashioned way and actually would do like a, a print version of a newspaper, if you can take a picture of the sandals on the newspaper, just somewhere fun or, you know, somewhere where you wouldn't expect um, to see the sandals. Try, you know, I used to have people give them, uh, take pictures of them with their dogs. Um, but every week I usually get an email from someone saying that their dogs chewed them up. So, you know, maybe the dog pictures are not such a, a good idea, but if you can trust your dog not to actually eat the sandals, that, that would be great as well. Cause everyone likes to see, you know, the dogs and everything. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. So if you do want to send those pictures, my email is um, on my website and you can also send, you could also upload them through Facebook page as well, whatever's easier. And then I'll just drag them off and, you know, share them around. Um, but it's just a bit of fun really, just to get people involved. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this live. I quite enjoyed it, even though I had to do it twice. Um, so. I'll be back. I'm just not sure when, but I'm going to, if you are on TikTok, please follow me on TikTok because I'm going to start getting the, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I am going to start putting videos up there and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, at the end of this month, I should know from Granco that my new shipment is coming in. I know everything has been out on back order since last summer and it's just been a headache so they should be all coming in um towards the end of this month along with some new styles which i'm going to put on the website in the next few days or, or actually no in the next couple of weeks and i'm going to start a wait list stuff for them i'm not going to take pre-orders on them because i don't know the size breakdowns that are coming in um but i will i will get you to sign up so that you're the first to know when they go online um you know, because they are so, they've got some really nice little styles coming back in, so it should be pretty cool. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. If it was only my mum and, you know, uh, other family members, thank you. If it was only you, my mum and Claire. I know I've got a couple of others on here, but I just don't know who. But um, so I'll be back. Thank you. See ya.